Welcome to the third part of DJI's story. This phase is marked by the diversification of its products into other market niches, such as the agricultural and industrial sectors, security and rescue forces, as well as the modernization of its already renowned line of drones for personal and cinematic use. But if you haven't watched the previous videos yet, I recommend clicking here to watch part 1, which provides a complete account of DJI's founder, Frank Wong Tao. And then watch the video for part 2 of this story, which covers DJI's growth and international expansion. In the previous video, we covered DJI's product launches up until 2014, including the evolution of the Phantom series and the release of the Inspire. Now, let's continue from 2015, which began with the launch of the Phantom 3. This drone represented a significant technological leap compared to its predecessors. It impressed users with its practicality and numerous innovations, such as a new high-quality camera integrated with a three-axis gimbal, delivering sharp and stable images. It also featured an ergonomic controller with a sleek white glossy finish, similar to the Inspire, along with a reinforced mount for smartphones and tablets. Additionally, it came equipped with a built-in light bridge transmission system, offering a range of up to 5 kilometers. The new DJI GO app centralized all flight and camera information, streaming real-time images in 720p HD quality. It allowed users to adjust various camera settings, monitor flight data, and even execute certain commands with just a tap on the screen, such as takeoff, landing, and activating the automatic return function. Another innovation was the optical and ultrasonic positioning system, which enabled stable indoor flight even without GPS. The Phantom 3 was released in two versions. The Advanced, equipped with a 2.7K resolution camera, and the Pro, featuring a 4K camera. This was revolutionary at the time, as such resolution was previously only available in drones used by the film industry. In May, DJI launched the Matt Rice 100, its first commercial platform offering complete customization freedom, marking the company's expansion into commercial and industrial solutions. The Matt Rice was a modular flying platform capable of integrating various accessories, such as thermal cameras, multispectral sensors, ultrasonic and optical sensors for obstacle avoidance, transmission systems, and more. These features supported a wide range of applications, including aerial inspections, scientific research, academic studies, security forces, and rescue operations. It utilized the DJI SDK, an open-source software allowing developers to create custom applications to control the drone and process its captured data. The advancements introduced with the Matt Rice laid the groundwork for the future technologies found in DJI's current models. In June, DJI launched the Inspire One Pro, designed to meet the demands of video producers and the film industry. The main difference from the previous version was the Zenmuse X5 camera, featuring a larger 4 thirds inch sensor that delivered better performance in low-light environments and greater depth of field. It also supported interchangeable lenses, and the gimbal was upgraded for enhanced stability. Two months later, DJI released the Inspire One RAW, whose main distinction was its recording format, offering editors greater flexibility in post-production. In August, DJI launched the Phantom 3 standard, continuing its strategy of offering a more affordable entry-level version of this product line. The main difference was its simpler controller, which used the same model as the Phantom 2, relying on a Wi-Fi amplifier that limited its range to about half a mile. Additionally, it lacked the optical and ultrasonic positioning system for indoor flight. Other features remained the same, 
including the HD camera with 2.7K resolution, a 25-minute battery life, and all the intelligent flight modes. In November, DJI launched its first agricultural drone, the Agra's MG-1. It was designed for efficient and precise crop spraying, with a capacity of 10 kilograms of product, allowing coverage of up to 6 hectares per hour. The drone featured a robust design resistant to water and dust, and was equipped with 8 rotors for enhanced stability. It also offered intelligent operating modes with radar to monitor the terrain and avoid obstacles. The Agras had interchangeable spray nozzles, enabling it to adapt to various products and flow rates. Ensuring safety and precision in the application of pesticides and fertilizers, the Agra's MG-1 featured an innovative ventilation system with filters to prevent dust and liquid buildup in the motors. It utilized the drone's arm tubes to channel air to the motors, effectively preventing overheating. The year 2016 began with the launch of the most iconic and beautiful drone of all time, the Phantom 4. It made history and stood out for its exceptional build quality, which started with the packaging. The minimalist elegant white box contained another surprising innovation, an EVA protective case that also doubled as a stylish carrying case with an aluminum latch. Another new feature was its sleek, aerodynamic design. The body was completely redesigned, featuring a polished white finish, and all the accessories were integrated into the drone, including the gimbal and positioning system. Equipped with a pair of ultrasonic sensors for altitude and a new addition, two optical sensors on the bottom for positioning, the Phantom 4 also introduced a groundbreaking feature for its time, a pair of front optical sensors for obstacle detection. Using these sensors, the drone scanned its environment and made real-time decisions to avoid objects. The motors were also redesigned for greater efficiency and power, allowing the Phantom 4 to reach an incredible 45 miles per hour. This speed became a standout feature of the new sport mode. The controller also followed the same polished white finish as the drone. The main difference compared to the previous version was the addition of the sport mode on the flight mode selection switch. Additionally, the base of the smartphone mount was now made of aluminum to provide more stability when used with a tablet. Another item that was completely redesigned was the battery. It offered a flight time of 28 minutes, followed the contours of the drone, and featured an innovative ventilation system with spacing between the four cells. The charger was also updated, maintaining the same polished white finish. It now provided 100 W of power, nearly double the capacity of the previous version. The propellers were also improved, with a larger size and new shape to provide more lift and efficiency. Additionally, a new, faster, and more secure mounting system was introduced. With all these innovations, the Phantom 4 was considered a revolutionary drone for its time, leaving a technological legacy that is still present in DJI's current drones. In September, DJI launched the Mavic Pro, its first foldable drone. It featured all the capabilities of the Phantom 4, but with the advantage of being more compact and portable. The Mavic Pro came with a 4K camera stabilized by a compact 3-axis gimbal. It had two optical sensors on the front for obstacle avoidance, two optical sensors and two ultrasonic sensors on the bottom for altitude control and positioning in indoor environments. Additionally, it featured a dual satellite positioning system, combining GPS and GLONASS, to ensure greater stability and precision. Following the same concept as the drone, the controller was also compact and foldable for easy transport. Despite its smaller size, it offered an excellent range of up to 4.5 miles. 
Additionally, it featured two innovative control methods using only a smartphone. One method allowed controlling the drone through a virtual joystick, while the other enabled certain commands to be executed without any physical controller, simply using hand gestures. The versatility and portability of the Mavic made it a huge success, setting a new standard for modern drones. It pioneered the market for foldable and compact drones designed for personal use. In November, DJI launched the Inspire 2. This new version was designed to solidify the Inspire as the absolute leader in the professional cinematic market, bringing many innovations sought after by filmmakers and video producers. One of these innovations was an exclusive FPV, first-person view, camera for the pilot, stabilized by a two-axis gimbal with independent controls. The maximum speed increased from 50 miles per hour to 58 miles per hour, and to improve framing in high-speed scenes, DJI introduced the Spotlight Pro flight mode, which identified objects and kept the main camera fixed on the target, regardless of the drone's movement. In addition to the traditional sensors on the bottom of the Inspire, two more optical sensors were added to the front to detect and avoid obstacles up to a distance of 30 meters. The Inspire 2 also featured infrared sensors on the top of the drone, providing added peace of mind for pilots during indoor flights. Another significant improvement was the increased flight time, which went from 18 to 27 minutes. This was made possible by the introduction of a new dual battery system. The main camera also received new models, including the X4S, X5S, and X7, offering resolutions up to 5.2K at 30fps, and were compatible with professional codecs for cinematic productions. The internal storage system was also upgraded to support these formats, with a new DJI SSD providing higher bit rates, while still retaining the traditional SD card system. The Inspire 2 also enabled live image transmission, which proved highly useful for field reporting teams, allowing them to broadcast aerial footage directly from the scene in real time. With all these features, the Inspire 2 met the demands of the most discerning producers, establishing itself as an essential tool for the cinematic market. Also in November, DJI released the last drone of 2016, the Phantom 4 Pro, and what was already great got even better. The main innovation was the new 1-inch sensor camera, which could shoot 4K at 100 FPS, enabling slow motion video. The photo resolution was also increased to 20 megapixels, and it featured a mechanical shutter, which was highly appreciated by photographers. The Phantom 4 Pro also had a plus version, which came with a controller featuring a 5.5-inch high brightness display. Another major innovation in the Phantom 4 Pro was the addition of collision avoidance sensors in five directions. It featured new rear sensors and infrared sensors on the sides, in addition to the front and bottom sensors. This setup provided enhanced flight safety, allowing for highly precise obstacle avoidance. The battery was also improved, increasing the flight time to around 30 minutes, and the maximum speed was boosted to 55 miles per hour. Even at this speed, it maintained its obstacle avoidance function. These innovations not only pleased many enthusiasts but also elevated the drone to a professional level, making the Phantom 4 Pro a highly versatile drone that satisfied a wide range of users. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to catch the next chapters of this story. Thank you for watching.